Boy, do I have an update for you, Mama. We are at 39 weeks in two days. And I was diagnosed with preeclampsia. Early stages, liver and kidney are checking out fine and no major symptoms. So my birthing center is fine with us trying to induce uh, naturally for now. Um, <clears throat> basically with preeclampsia what happens is your um, body just stops working as hard for the baby like it's and it starts trying to get the kid out <laughs> like it's like what is this foreign invader more common with first-time pregnancies like I have um, it can be very serious um, even fatal apparently uh, if extreme um, which mine's not but they don't people just don't know a lot about preeclampsia where they know if it'll jump up to severe you know in a day so basically as long as I don't have the severe symptoms of like tunnel vision and uh, major headaches that don't go away and pain in the right side where the liver is uh, we're good to keep trying to have a natural delivery since um, baby's cooked right so we're after 39 weeks so it's so she's cooked she's not a preemie she's ready uh, my body's just trying to boot her out um, I like to think of it as my body trying to boot her out at the end of the year because got to get that tax write off. Plus, my insurance is better this year than it will be next year. So, so what are natural techniques? You may be wondering. Uh, so last night I went in for a membrane sweep. Just go up the cervix, sweep around it to kind of get things moving. Um, and she said, um, after doing that, I was at three centimeters dilated and 50% thinned out. Uh, so I went back in today after having some, you know, well, there was, you know, some labor pains after all that. Some mucus plug coming out. I know, gross, but I guess not gross because you've had five kids, right, <sighs> Mom? But... Yeah, so that started happening, and then today we had scheduled where I went in and we did a balloon catheter thing, I think. It's basically where you go into the cervix, put a balloon, fill it with water on both ends and in the middle of the cervix so that it kind of puts pressure and helps expand it and thin it. At a quicker rate hopefully your body gets the picture and goes into labor um, that way so um, I'm, I <laughs> this is the face of someone who has a balloon in there mm-hmm yep uh, <clears throat> I can't say it's comfortable. It's just this constant dull pain. Walking and sitting. I mean, not great, but not excruciating. I mean, I can take this. In fact, I'm going to try to get a nap in because if this works, I'll be maybe in starting labor by tomorrow. But it doesn't always work. Um, and as long as my symptoms of the preeclampsia don't get worse uh, we can just keep waiting it out and trying um, natural remedies like oxytocin and uh, you know different things that get oxytocin going um, otherwise if preeclampsia symptoms get worse we have to go to the hospital and do the whole pus, pus, whatever that P word is that induces people that is fake oxytocin um, and I don't want to do that. Gosh, I, I'll do it if I need to, but I really hope, I, I just don't want to put fake oxytocin in my body. 
for her to come into the world. Um, I'd like it to be the natural um, hormones so she gets all the bang for the buck. And I get all the bang for the buck. I mean, I want oxytocin dumped into me. Uh, yeah, not the fake stuff. My brain knows the difference. Uh, so, so yes, yeah, so she may be coming a little bit earlier than Christmas. Um, but fully developed. So that's good. Just going through the motions, trying to get all my work done. I thought I had another day. Uh, so I'm going to take a nap and try to see if I can get a little bit more work wrapped up. So that... I just have that stress off my plate. Um, but I'll keep you posted. And oh, we are almost there. <laughs> almost there. Um, yeah, I, th I think uh, at this point. At 39 weeks, basically, the child is just, she's got all of her fat. Like, she's grown all of her, she, like, little fat on the outside. And, um, you know, brain's form, fully formed three times the size as it was, uh, I guess, a month or two. Like, a month ago, I think, is what my app said. Um, but, but yeah, um, I'm healthy and feeling good. Just had too much protein um, I had like 500 where the max is 300 and just what that shows is that my liver just can't keep up with the double demand um, which I mean it's I guess 17% of people have preeclampsia and um, my midwife did say uh, the good thing about preeclampsia is your body kind of recognizes that as a sign to have the child like even though I'm just 39 weeks in a few days I was already two centimeters dilated um, and so it's like my body knows it's time to go so hopefully it'll respond well to this balloon thing and um, and I'll just let you know it, how that goes so hopeful and uh, yeah, grateful to have a really good medical team and who are doing everything they can to be safe with me and with baby and oh they uh they listen to the heartbeat you know today and yesterday and everything's great and my blood pressure is actually down um it was high the last three weeks but uh when i went in today it was down to really healthy levels like 118 over 74 or something something perfect like you know back to normal um, so, so don't worry, everything's fine, and I guess you'll be getting a granddaughter soon. Let's see if she makes it to 40 weeks or not. Love you. Bye.